Hi everybody. Have you ever noticed that when you are using a stamp with a, and a coordinating die, sometimes it can be a little tricky lining the stamped image up with the die cut. Um, this particular cutting die is by Spellbinders and they do a good job of their cutting dies outlining the image. So what I would do is just line that up. I like to put a little piece of tape there so that it doesn't slip around and then I go ahead and run it through my die cutting machine and I will get good results. However, if you're using a cling rubber stamp that doesn't line up so great that you can't see through, I like to do just sort of an upside down stamped image. I'll show you how. So I've taken my stamp, inked it face up. Okay, now I've got my blank die cut and I'm going to place it on the rubber stamp. I'm going to take a stamping block, make sure it's the right size, you don't want to use a small one. And then you're just pressing it in all the areas like you would when you were stamping it the right side down, <laughs> the correct side down. If you're using clear stamps, this wouldn't be a problem at all because you could die cut your image from cardstock and then the clear stamp allows you just to see exactly where you're positioning it. It's no problem. But occasionally when you have a rubber stamp that's a cling stamp, um, which are excellent stamps, but sometimes you do have difficulty lining them up. So I'm gonna take that away, turn it over, and you get a perfectly stamped image, no problem with lining it up. Okay, so I hope that was helpful.